Hello, I hope you're well. I'm sharing with you a series of tips around how we unconsciously or maybe unknowingly get in our own way. And today's one is all around sweeping generalizations. You know, sentences that start with everyone, no one, always, never. So here's an example. Uh, no one ever believes in me. So first of all, you'll notice that it's all about no one and it's ever. And the other thing is the statement is usually, not always, but usually framed in the detriment to the author. So here's what you do if you notice that you are making sweeping generalizations. The first thing is to notice, how do I feel when I think the thought, no one ever believes in me, or no one ever listens to me, or no one's ever there for me, or no one ever achieves that goal? How do you feel when you think the thought? You see, we have thoughts, feelings, actions, and they're so our feelings are such a valuable, important part of any success model. Because depending on that feeling will determine whether you feel like you want to powerfully move forward, freeze, or step back, or maybe even move to the side. So that's that thing of looking busy but not really gaining any space. So when you ask yourself, how do I feel when I think the thought, no one ever believes in me, then you ask yourself, is that feeling resourceful? Is it working for me or not? And if it's not, then you ask yourself, okay, so when was that thought once just not true? So therefore, when was there an, an occasion where somebody did believe in me, when somebody did listen to me, when somebody was there for me, when somebody did achieve that target? You just think of one piece of evidence that supports the opposing statement. And then when you find one piece of evidence, that then disproves that sweeping generalization because we can feel so incredibly swamped with sweeping generalizations. They can actually feel very debilitating. They can make us feel quite stuck. But there's also a sense of relief when you realize that statement isn't true. And quite often what happens is that statement is just unconsciously said. It's just part of a conversation that isn't, usually picked up, looked at, and then reframed because it's part of our habitual thinking. But it also determines how powerfully we move or don't. So once you've understood what, what is a sweeping generalization, how does it make me feel? Is it true when you realize it isn't? Then with that comes a sense of possible hope and the idea of possibility. And certainly it frees your mind for much more resourceful, productive thinking that is going to be in better service to the direction that you want to move in. So I hope that's helpful. I've tried to keep it as condensed and as quick as possible for you. Um, if you've got any questions, give me a shout and have a great day.